Avemi, bro. I am Nkose from South Africa, and I am a member of the Tusok Jumper family. The red jumper is our sign of the finest quality, so you can enjoy our authentic taste. Lacquer. I'm Kwai with roasted meat, cheese, and pizza. Enjoy my aromatic freshness and hints of wild berry fruit. Did you know I own a gold medal from China? Hey everybody, this is... Oh, hold on a second, we have a guest. Anyway, hey everyone, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime, and today I'm reviewing another wine from Tussock Jumper. This is the 2017 Tussock Jumper Shiraz Grenache Viognier Blend. It is 14.5% alcohol by volume. You got it, you like it. And it is from the Western Cape of South Africa. Um, I probably need to put you down now so I can do a review. Is that okay? Okay, say bye bye. Bye bye. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get here. Get to the wine. That screw top, plus one. I like that. But seriously, go away now. And let's pour a sample. So a lot of people are probably looking at this going, okay, yeah, Shiraz, Grenache, Viognier. Yes, so Viognier can actually add some structural components to a wine. Uh, typically, it adds some florality, it adds a little bit of body. Uh, and, and in some cases, it can be used to be blended in to bring down the acidity within a wine because Viognier itself isn't typically a very acidic wine. So you have some other wines in there that are kind of acidic. You can kind of use it to taper off. Uh, and this, I think it's a very little percentage if I recall. So it's probably used more to just add a few structural components to the wine, not necessarily like do really anything else to it. All right, so from a color standpoint, you are Medium ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. All right, so on the nose, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you definitely are mostly Shiraz. <laughs> Getting this this black fruit, there's a little bit of like a, a leather to it, a little bit of pepper, black pepper, cinnamon. Yeah, there's a little bit of cinnamon in here. No, not cinnamon. No, it's cinnamon. There's mace, there's mace as well. But I mean, it's not too, too complicated. The, the one thing that I am hoping that I get out of this is a really nice strong body um, but you know what let's get to the taste to find out Ooh, medium plus acid almost almost high now I'm gonna give you high because now my salivary gl glands really kicked in Ooh, okay so high acid wine in terms of body of medium body the alcohol on the nose is not present at all on the palate it burns you a little bit. It, it, it's definitely something that, stop messing with my gear, stop, go away. It, it's definitely something that is, um, stop, no, stop. Sorry, the cat was messing with the camera stuff. At this point, I just have to hold her. So, um, it's definitely something that you're gonna, you're, you're gonna taste. It, it, it kind of hits you in the retronasal, really comes back up, warms up your throat, warm, warms up your face, everything is there. Um, but, even though it is strong, it's not overpowering because the intensity on the flavors of this wine are pretty intense. I would say it has a pronounced intensity. It hits you pretty hard, pretty fast. With Shiraz, I, I, I tend to get a lot of sort of those peppery notes, those spicy notes, those kind of hit early, hit up front, um, and go away in the mid palate. Uh, Grenache can, can be kind of heavy handed with its roots, especially in the mid palate. Um, this is, are you, if I let you down now, will you stop messing with my gear? In this case, um, I'm getting a really nice even tone all the way through, and um, it actually does kind of provide like a little bit of an oily texture to it. There is a tiny bit of oil on this wine, but not petroleum, just like omega-3 salmon-y type oil texture. Okay, with all that being said though, how does it rate? Well, let's get to the Blick. Uh, from a balance standpoint, I actually think you're in balance. Um, to be quite honest, if you weren't blended a little bit with Grenache and Viognier, and if you were a straight Shiraz, I'd say you were not too in balance. So the blending actually did a really good job bringing them back together. So good job there, two sock jumper. So full point. In terms of length, I'm getting a medium plus finished. It's not long. It's going at about 35-ish, 40 seconds. Not too much further past that. Uh, so I'll give you half a point. Intensity, intensity on the nose, medium plus. 
intensity on the palette was pr pronounced. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a full point. And in terms of complexity, I am getting uh, a lot of uh, ripe fruits. I'm getting uh, a, kind of that leatheriness, some little spice, but I'm not really getting much tertiary. So on that note, actually any tertiary, now I'm thinking about it. Um, however, this wine does have a ton of acid. So this wine could age fairly well. Um, assuming that wines age well with screw tops. I, I, I still haven't seen all the data come in on that. If they don't age very well in screw tops, then you're just gonna have a wine that is still gonna fall into a very good in my book. So this wine ends up getting three points. You're a solidly very good wine. And um, yeah, this is definitely one to look out for. If you're in the store and, and you see this, pick it up. Uh, I, I mean, this would go well with uh, maybe some heavy charcuterie. Um, really in this case, I'm thinking like smoked meats, um, like uh, smoked pork, uh, some more, some, like a brisket, stuff like that. The, those types of things would go really, really well with this wine. Um, maybe another thing too is, uh, for those of you who eat carbs, which unfortunately are not me, um, maybe do something with like a little bit of a pizza, like an Italian sausage pizza, some bacon on it, stuff like that. The, the fattiness needs to be there. Um, and I think the meat will play really well with the dark fruits. But in the end, if, if you kind of get some good food to pair with it, it's just going to make this wine even better. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2017 Tussauds Jumper Shiraz Grenache and Viognier Blend? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime.